Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber, and the subscriber sent a donation, so thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click that link below and send a donation. So this one says, um, I'm relocating to a new city by the end of the year. Uh, one of my major sticking points has been smashing quality women. I've had lots of sex in 2018, but I only smashed maybe two girls that I was super attracted to. The rest were either mentally fucked or physically average. Uh, there's always attraction early on. The dates always go really well. Lots of shit talking and sexual tension. We usually end up making out and getting physical. But when I push for sex, she makes it clear that she wants to fuck, but won't let herself because she's too classy or wants a relationship. So I push as far as I can, then chill out. Uh, we may hang out once or twice more, and then it's the same story with all of them. Um, she eventually either becomes too busy, too tired, or simply doesn't want to fuck with me anymore because I'm not looking for a relationship. As far as confidence, I'm pretty solid internally, but I'd be lying if... I said this wasn't frustrating to see the same patterns. Have you encountered anything like this personally? What advice do you have about plowing through? Escalate faster? Too mu Is it too much boyfriend energy? Uh, should I be more aggressive? I'm ready to win. Help a nigga out. All right. So basically you're saying that you're running into these chicks that you want to smash, but they on that, oh, you know, I, I, I want a relationship. I'm not trying to do all of that and all the other good stuff, right? See, the problem, though, is, and this is why you're, you're, you're going to get frustrated, is because you continue to try to deal with them even after they said that. So, like you said in, in, in the email, you said, you know, um, they want a relationship, and then you said you push as far as you can, then you chill out, and then you said, we may hang out once or twice more, and then it's the same story with all of them. So, my thing is, why are you hanging out with them again? If they've already said, look, I'm just trying to have a, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be on this relationship shit. See, this is the, this is the thing. If you're dealing with women, right, and you want to smash and she's on some, oh, I, you know, I don't want to do this because I want to, um, you know, wait for a relationship. I'm, I'm not trying to do all that other stuff, right? What happens now is, is that you have sort of a, a battle between you and her as to see whose frame is stronger <laughs> you understand and so in this in these situations their frame is stronger because what's happening is is that you're agreeing to still chill with them after she done said she just wants a relationship or she's not gonna have sex without the relationship right and then what happens is you're saying that she becomes too busy too tired or simply doesn't want to fuck with you because you know you're, you're not looking for that relationship so what she's doing is she's trying to string you along to get you to you know, be in that relationship type of environment with her, right? But what happens is, is that you're going along with her thing, which is why you're continuously, you know, hanging out with them even more after they said what they were going to, what they wanted. This is what you should do is when you run into these situations, and this is going to save you a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of frustration. You run into these situations where you're dealing with a girl and she's like, you're trying to have sex with her, but she's on some, oh, but... I don't want to do that now and I'm trying to be in a relationship and I want something serious and all that other stuff, right? You say to her, listen, that's cool. I feel you and I respect what you're trying to do. Um, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have some sex. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to fall back. And when you're, when you're ready to have sex, whenever you're horny and you want to fuck, call me. And then you stop calling her. It's real. It's that simple. You let her know, this is what I want to do. And when she's ready to do that, you tell her, hey, when you're ready to do this thing I'm trying to do, you call me. There's not, there's not going to be any hanging out once or twice more. None of that. You holler at me when you're ready to suck this dick. You feel what I'm saying? That's what you say. And so what happens is, is that you're not falling into her situation, because what, what most guys try to do is this, is that they say, oh, well, she's saying she wants a relationship, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to hang out with her again, and then maybe the next time I hang out with her, you know, she's going to change her mind, or I could just slip it in, and or I could just, you know, like, you know, go in through the back door and, and, and try to, you know, manipulate her or get her to feel like, nah, listen, she already done told you 
that this is what it is. You see what I'm saying? And she's already showing through her actions that that's what it is. Because if you're saying, hey, you know, um, you know, you were already there making out with her and trying to get physical. But then you say she made it clear that she wants she wants to fuck, but won't, won't, she won't do it unless it's a relationship thing. You see what I'm saying? So the thing is, instead of wasting time trying to make it happen with her, right? You let her know that you want to smash and that when she's ready to come to towards your side of things, then that's when she hollers at you, right? And then what you do is you don't talk to her again. You you just, you know, ignore her and you talk to other women, interact with them and you let them know this is what you're trying to do. And if they're on that, oh, well, I want to, you know, wait to have a relationship. Then you tell them the same thing you told the last girl, right? So you have to make sure that you're keeping up what you're trying to make happen. Because what, what, because this is the thing. What's happening here sometimes is this, because a girl who says she's um, waiting to, you know, uh, waiting until she's getting into a relationship to have sex with, to have sex, period, or whatever, usually that's BS. Usually. Now, there are some girls who are, it's like rare that they're actually not going to be having sex and they're like, I'm going to wait until I'm in a relationship to have sex with. That's, that's rare, right? What most girls are doing is this, is that they see boyfriend material in you which is why they're coming at you with the oh I w- i'm not i want to yeah i want to have sex but i want to wait till i'm in a relationship because they want that relationship with you but the reason why they want the relationship with you is because you may be displaying certain things that let her think or let her feel or let her know that you're the type of guy she could be in that relationship with and this is what you're doing you're, you said Again, that we hung out once or twice more, right? So y'all got together, was getting all touchy-feely, trying to make it happen. She said, nah, I want to wait till I'm in a relationship. And then you hung out with her more. So what that's telling her is, is that you're the type of guy who she probably could be in a relationship with because you're displaying behaviors that's letting her know that you're willing to Go that distance to probably be in a relationship with her, which is why you're hanging out with her once or twice more. See, what you need to get her thinking is, and and this goes for all you guys out there, if you're trying to smash, there needs to be no doubt in her mind that you're that type of guy who she could only have sex with, meaning you're the type of guy who would be a terrible boyfriend, You understand what I'm saying? You're the type of guy who just wants to get his dick wet, period. You don't give a fuck about none of that other shit. But see, if you're sitting there hanging out with her, you know, again and again and again, and y'all not having sex, right? What's going to happen is, is that, like you said, you know, she's talking about, oh, I'm busy. I'm too tired, all this other stuff, because she's waiting for that sort of commitment to flow in but since she sees it's not flowing in she's like oh yeah i'm busy i don't really want to see this guy anymore or whatever because she's she expected it to sort of flow in the direction of maybe you and her really getting together right but the only reason why she even treated you like that was because you were creating the situation to where that was the thing you're like well i'll hang out with you again i'll spend more time with you again i'll spend more time not having sex with you and hanging out with you and getting to know you and us doing things and all this other stuff meanwhile you're you're thinking you want you're like damn i hope i get the sex but you're not behaving like a guy who just wants sex and this is why i'm saying that when you're talking to these girls if they're on some oh i want to do this and i want to do that that's cool do that over there but when you're ready to fuck call me and i will not be calling you that's what you got to let them know You see what I'm saying? You have to put them on. Because, again, these girls, a lot of times, the reason why they've been bringing that up is because they see that boyfriend energy within you. Right? These girls also want to fuck. Trust me. Trust me that that same girl that's saying those things is probably fucking some other dude uh, on the side. And he's just smashing. And the reason why he's doing that is because he's displayed himself as that type of guy who she can just smash. The type of guy who would not be boyfriend material. Because... He's asserting himself in a certain way where he is not giving off that boyfriend energy. You see what I'm saying? And so this is why, you know, I laugh when dudes say that stupid shit where they're like, oh, I'm going to 
uh, pretend that I, I, I want, I want a long-term relationship with her. I want something. I'm going to lead her on and, and, you know, and, and make her think that I want more than, than just sex so that she can want to have sex. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's going to take you longer to have sex. And then you're going to have to probably do some dumb shit, like actually being on some like committed boyfriendy type of shit to even get to that point. And you don't want to do that. You see what I'm saying? So if you're just trying to smash, let them know you're just trying to smash and don't fucking waver off of that shit. You understand what I'm saying? You stick to that shit. Tell them, hey, this is what I want to do. You call me when you want to make it happen and you don't call them. You understand? So once you tell the girl, listen, um, you holler at me. Once you tell her that, you do not text, call, hit her up at all, period. Right? Right? You wait for her to call you or text you. And when she does call or text you, it's only for fucking. It's only for fucking. Don't have her call you and talk about, hey, so, you know, do you want to hang out at this bar? No, come over to the crib. Oh, you don't want to come over to the crib? All right, cool. Well, listen, holler back at me when you want to come to the crib. That's it. That's it. You understand? That is it. It's like, it's like if you, you know, you don't go to a pizza store to buy shoes. You understand? If you go to a pizza store and say, hey, can I get a pair of sneakers? They're going to look at you and be like, bruh, come back when you want to get some fucking pizza. You feel what I'm saying? Like, get the fuck out of here. What you, what you wasting my time for? You got to be that same way at, with women. She's like, oh, I want this and I want that. Listen, this is the sex store. This is the fucking store. When you want to get to fucking, you come here. You understand? Now get the fuck out of my store until you want to get to some fucking. You see what I'm saying? That's how you got to do it. You have to let these chicks know where you stand. Because if you if you doing all that flip flopping and oh well let me pretend and let me act like this and let me try to do this and let me try no you, you you're messing the shit up it has to be this or that you understand it's 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 either or a or b yes or no no in between you see what I'm saying and the reason why y'all are having a lot of trouble is because you're you're always doing this in between shit you're always doing this oh well maybe I can you know uh, maybe later if I hang out with her more and do all this other no. You understand what I'm saying? You got to let her know what it is. And then you have to let her uh, give her that space to choose when she wants it to happen. I've I've had this plenty of times. I've had times where I'm trying to holler at chicks or whatever. And, um, you know, like this one chick, even, you know, I was um, talking to this girl or whatever. And she was sort of on that. Like, first she was seeing some dude. Right. And then she was like, oh, I can't because I can't get with you because I'm seeing somebody. I said, cool, well, holler at me when you, when you stop seeing that nigga, right? Then she stopped seeing him. It's maybe like three or four months later. This is when I was in college. And I was talking to her. And she was like, yeah, I stopped seeing that guy. And I was like, cool, like, let's make some shit pop. And then she's like, oh, but I don't really want to do all of that. I'm not looking just for sex and all that. I was like, all right, cool. Well, listen, holler at your boy when you want some sex. A few weeks later, I get a, I get a call. Hey, what you doing? Like nothing, I'm chilling. It was good. She's like, You wanna come over? I was like, Yeah, if we fucking and she was like, Yeah, come over. And that was and I went over and smashed. You see what I'm saying? But what happened was throughout that whole time, I wasn't sitting there waiting for her to call me. I was still doing my thing, talking to other girls, living my life. I wasn't checking up on her. I wasn't hanging out with her more. I wasn't like doing anything. You see, you see, you understand what I'm saying? She hollered at me because she was ready for some fucking. And that's how you got to do. So, you know, stop with the whole back and forth with these chicks. Once you see that they doing all of that, just let them know what it, what it is. And then you fall back and you talk to other, other chicks. And that's that. You feel me? So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, make sure you click the link below. And I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership 
relationship.com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program. In this program, you'll receive 45 through 90 minute, easy to follow, step by step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract, date, and have sex with beautiful women. Join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com. That's badboymembership.com.